let's talk about 3D printed gifts. Christmas is a few days away, and some of you may be thinking, hey, what better gift than a 3D printed gift? Uh, but I've got some suggestions, some of my favorite prints that I've given as gifts. When, when trying to decide whether or not you should 3D print a gift or not, I kind of go by the guideline of, if you can buy it at Walmart, you probably shouldn't 3D print it. If you can buy it at Amazon, it still may not make a great 3D printed gift. Now, where there's an exception to that rule is can you customize it? So, can you take and put text or wording or something that makes it personalized? So, I did this print over the summer when the Cavs won the NBA championship and I found this logo or this uh, trophy, the Larry O'Brien trophy. I added that text there that says Cleveland Cavaliers 2016 NBA champion. Now, how I did that, uh, I briefly cover in that video, but basically I took the 3D printing uh, utility that's built into Windows 10 now. It can easily, relatively easily, edit STL files, and you can take and project that text right on top of there. You can also make somebody like a desk sign or something. Maybe I should flip this the right way. You can make somebody a desk sign um, with their, maybe their name or, or their logo or their business or maybe a picture of their kids. That is actually brings me to my next uh, favorite 3D printed gift idea. So what's the deal with this thing? The outside's made out of wood. There are three, three panels here that are 3D printed. These are called litho panes. So just looking at them without the light turned on that's inside of here, it's an LED light I bought on Amazon. They don't look like much. But the trick, when it's plugged in and turned on, suddenly it looks pretty cool. Let me turn this light off. So this makes an excellent gift. I gave this to my wife for one of our anniversaries. What you can do is you go on to Thingiverse and there are customizable uh, lithopane. And so you use the customizer built in, you upload your image. Basically you want something that will look good in monochrome or black and white. You can't use something too complicated because basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna break down a whole bunch of different levels. So when the printer prints this, it's gonna take and build it up layer by layer. Um, <clears throat> and areas that need to be dark are gonna have more layers, areas that are gonna be light are gonna be recessed and lower. There's a whole bunch of different lithopane projects on Thingiverse. When I made this about two or three years ago, there weren't as many out there now. Uh, there's even Christmas ornaments and things. They're all very cool as well. Uh, this is a fantastic gift. My wife loved it. And the plan was with this, building this out of wood, uh, it was um, quick for me to make this box with wood. And the neat thing is the idea is I could swap these panels out as through for different seasons or as my family grew. And the plan was to finish the woodworking on it after I completed it, but um, it looked so cool and just kind of sitting on the desk or on the uh, shelf. We ne I never got around to finishing it. So lithopanes make fantastic Christmas gifts. And you can't buy these at Walmart that I know of. Maybe you're involved with a white elephant gift exchange this year. The LaFab shop has a really cool model of uh, an elephant. You've probably seen it. it's been featured on Thingiverse. First time I printed it last year was actually for a white elephant gift exchange. Now the really cool thing about the LaFab shop elephant, it prints relatively quickly in a large size and you can uh, do very low infill. So I think I've heard of people printing it hollow. I usually do like a 5% infill one or 10% infill on mine when I print them. If you're gonna be giving it to a kid or somebody who's gonna be a little rough with it potentially, you might wanna print it a little bit higher just to make it a little bit stronger. The, the trunk on it tends to be a little bit brittle. Uh, I usually print it in ABS, but I've also printed it in PLA as well. Um, the really cool thing though is it prints fully assembled. And so the neat thing is you take it off the and the whole thing just pops right up and it, it it's posable. Uh, the legs are normal, they print flat, but when you're done, he stands up or he can sit down. It's, it's a pretty, it's an awesome print really. Um, 
So if you print a white elephant for a white elephant gift exchange, I mean, I think that that's kind of the point, right? Are you supposed to give white elephants for white? What are you supposed to give? I don't know. I 3D printed a furry Christmas tree. So this is kind of like the furry vase uh, <clears throat> that I've seen printed a few times now. So the furry tree might make a good gift for somebody. These print relatively quickly as well. I printed several of these recently with the plans to give away a couple of them as gifts. Other Christmassy things, Christmas ornaments can make fantastic Christmas uh, gifts, obviously. This is one of my favorites here. It's printed in uh, natural PLA. Uh, this is the first year I had the 3D printer that I actually printed this. We've got uh, several of these on our Christmas tree. And uh, I gave one that year to <clears throat> pretty much everyone in my family. This could also be made on a laser cutter if you had one, actually pretty simply. Uh, it might look really cool in like uh, clear acrylic. Vases. So this was printed in uh, protopasta carbon fiber PLA, high temperature carbon fiber PLA. And the cool thing about this and these vases is there really is no other way some of these shapes could be made. Uh, because of the internal structures, there's really no way to be able to like make a mold that would pull it out. Um, so vases make cool gifts. Some of these geometric shapes you can find on Thingiverse or any of the other uh, STL repositories on the internet are actually really kind of cool to look at. Um, even cooler if you fill it with a person's favorite candy when you give it to them, because uh, who doesn't like candy? And uh, they, Printed in vase mode, just a single layer on the out, outline. You can print these real fast. Great last minute Christmas gift. So, there's a new Star Wars movie. And Thingiverse is full of Star Wars projects. This is, I think, one of the only Star Wars things I've printed is a Yoda head. I think everybody's printed at least one Yoda head. This may be a little overdone. Uh, but there's still people out there who really love Star Wars and think 3D printing is amazing. If those people are on your uh, list to buy something for, certainly consider giving them a Yoda head. Or actually recently, I saw these really cool, and I'll put a link in the description to this, a snowflake ornament that's made with stormtroopers. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. So I'm, I'm sure if you have a 3D printer, somebody at some time or another has mentioned 3D printing a gun. No, I don't recommend 3D printing them an actual gun, but uh, how about a 3D printed Nerf gun? Huh? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, these are actually pretty cool. It's a 3D printed rubber band gun. Now this kind of goes against, you can obviously buy Nerf guns and rubber band guns both at Walmart and Amazon. But this is where we go back to, perhaps you customize it. So you take and you put some text on it, like I did here, or somebody's logo, or you do it in their favorite colors. Um, there's different ways to make this more of a personal gift than just uh, your standard Nerf gun from Walmart. If you've got somebody who's a fan of these kind of things, playing with Nerf guns and rubber band guns, um, certainly they might think this is cool. Um, and you can even design your own. These things really aren't that complicated to design. Um, and if you're gonna print that, then you need to print accessories. So like maybe a little clip to hold the Nerf dart. One of my personal favorites, one of my own designs on Thingiverse right now, Nerf Target. I believe these are printed at 200% scale um, and they make great targets for rubber band guns and Nerf guns. Print them in different colors, you can make up games. I've got some actually other stuff I'm working on with this that I hope to share soon with you guys. This is kind of cool, I keep one in the garage at all times, the finger wrench. This is also on Thingiverse, link in the description. In fact, all this stuff, um, that I have links for will be in the description. I think I have a link for everything here, except for maybe 
that Yoda. But anyhow, the finger wrench is really cool. Uh, let me get a nut. Any of you that's ever worked on a car or anything mechanical and you've had to like use nuts and bolts to try to put stuff in, it can be a real pain to hold on to the nut and get it started and try to feed the other, the bolt from the other side. The finger wrench kind of solves all that. So you take and you slide the nut uh, in there like so. And it allows you to hold the nut while you get it started uh, real simply and you have full de dexterity of the rest of your fingers all while holding that nut. This would be a cool gift. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, if you've got a mechanic, and I think this is an older design. He updated it and made it look even cooler. Somebody who likes fidget toy actually. Uh, these are really cool. Impossible bolt. Shows how I did this, but basically you line a couple of these up and while the printer's printing, if you can quickly get in there and feed a nut on or more safely, you should pause the printer and then insert the nuts. The printer continues printing and stops at the top, obviously, and now you've got this nut embedded on here. I've been keeping one of these in my pocket in my coat. I've just been finding it fun to just kind of flip it around a little bit. Kind of like those spinner toys everybody's playing with. So you have somebody that's a fan of the space program or space exploration, NASA, in general, on your list to buy a gift for, NASA has some really cool models out there. This one uh, is really cool. It actually is the one of the first things they've 3D printed in space on the 3D printer on the space station. So this is the NASA like little ratchet wrench. Uh, I printed it in ABS. It actually works. Prints as a all, all assembled, I should say, and it actually ratchets. I don't know that this would be like a useful tool that I'd use to put to something together. Kind of a conversation piece, somebody who really likes uh, space, NASA, uh, this would make a cool gift. Uh, I know I'd be pretty excited to receive one of these and uh, after I give this away, I think I'm gonna print myself a new one and maybe uh, it's a little bit tougher material. So one thing I didn't explore much here and it really, it's gonna be, for each person it's gonna be a little different. If you can 3D model, then you can make some fantastic gifts with 3D printing because really the best gifts are personalized. And think about if you could make something that doesn't exist at all, that that one person really, really wants, then what's better than that? You made them something that they've always wanted that they could never have, and 3D printing allows you to do that. So maybe you can make some pretty awesome 3D printed gifts. Uh, this Christmas there's not a whole lot of time left, so you better make it quick. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice. <coughs> Merry Christmas, Andy. Get the damn cold. Son of a bitch. All right, uh, 